Hi there, I'm Ben Jones and welcome back to Dukescopy TV. As it's the start of another trading week, it is of course time for your first edition of Forecasts. Joining me on the line to share his predictions for the dollar-yen pair is Ulrich Leutmann from Commerce Bank. So Ulrich, in one month's time you see this pair hitting levels similar to the ones we saw at the start of this year, 105. Why is this? Well, I think that we will see in one month's time uh, the effect of the tax hike in, in Japan. And um, I think it might be a disappointment. I think the hope of those who had thought that um, the tax hike would be a, a revival of inflation dynamics in Japan might be disappointed. I think there might be the chance that, that only a part of the tax hike will be transferred into prices. Now, you expect this pair to continue to go up, hitting 108 in three months' time. Is there anything specific that makes you think this? Well, I think we might see the chance that the Bank of Japan has to become more expansionary if they also uh, see a disappointment uh, from the tax hike effect. In that case, they might think about increasing their QE measures further, and this is a bad signal for the yen. And finally, one year from now, you see the dollar-yen pair trading at 119. What gives you such a bullish stance? Well, I think of the medium to long run, Japan basically needs a weaker, much weaker yen to bring their uh, current account in order. They have a trade deficit, quite a significant trade deficit at the moment, and I think the only way that they can get out of it in the foreseeable future will be by a much weaker yen, by uh, actually a trend of weakening yen, which would bring uh, the currency pair uh, up to the region you mentioned. Ulrich, thank you for joining us again today. That's all from me for this edition of Forecast. Stay tuned throughout the week, though, as we have plenty more updates and exclusive interviews for you. Bye for now.